from Brooklyn. This, like, <laughs> this, this, okay, oh my but god! But we're gonna go into this match. We have um. Oh, okay. We have Frozen playing Peach. Oh, I love this song. Numbers playing Inkling. Oh god! Why don't people counterpick like these stages more often, man? Oh, people are lazy. There's so much good music that we just never hear in this game. I can't wait till we get copyright struck. Oh yeah, hundred percent. But um, we're gonna go into this matchup. Numbers playing Inkling and not the Miss Roseman, uh, thankfully. Right. And we got um, Frozen. No, he said he wanted to go Peach today. That's really cool. Uh, P you know, he used to be like, uh, he wanted to try out Peach a lot in Smash 4. When this game came out, like, he was like one of the first characters he wanted to try. Yeah, make a contra very conservative mm -hmm. to play this character. Things aren't working out too well for him already, though. He's already taking a ton of damage, has the defense down on. Literally just one, honestly, a back air off stage away from being sent flying or a grab, or, and, or what the? Or, an, or an anti air smash. You know, that was crazy because uh, John Numbers pretty much racked up most of his damage by anti airing Frozen a bunch of times. So, I mean, that anti air smash was kind of coming. The, the thing is, like, you're playing Peach. Like, of course you want to be in the air. So, oh no, as I say that, you get grounded immediately. Because, yeah. you know, Peach gets so much off of, like, the floats. Yeah. Um, thing is, it's like, it's one of those things, like, when you abuse your best option, you don't want to telegraph it. Right. Um, but, and that thing, thing we're talking about best options, that's flat. Yeah, man, he's getting a lot with these anti-air options. Um, up smash, uh, he's anti-airing them a lot, actually, with his, um, the, the squid grenade. Don't know what it's called. But. The squid grenade? Oh, the spy grenade. Yeah, spy grenade. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, it's, okay. Another roller. It's like, you tell him to stay grounded, and he'll get, gra then he gets rollered, and I don't, uh, so... There he goes, runs in there, gets a kill finally. And what's actually going on is that John Number Legacy like is just calling out a lot of anti airs. This is Frozen's just mm -hmm. being maybe a little bit too predictable with hey, Peach. Yeah, he wants to float. Yeah, <laughs> he wants like to, too much. Yeah, he wants to float, get in your vicinity, hit hit your shield with his uh, with your safe aerials. And John Number's just playing to his wind condition. Mm -hmm. And he can't. And he was trying to approach right there during that little splatter shot in exchange. And he just has so much ink this entire set. I feel like there's not been a time where he's not been orange. Yeah. Oh, well, right now, okay, Frozen got something started. He got 15%, but he's on his last stock right now, 70%. Mm. So. This could be the turn up that he needs. You see him jumping over the the roller, getting the forward air. Oh my god. He's okay, he's fishing now. Honestly, why not? He almost got it. Oh, and, and that traded. Um, and, that, and that, you know, I, that was a good aggressive um, recovery by John. Because if he didn't do anything, he probably got forward air. I think he used his air dodge already. And this is Frozen's time to shine, right? He's out, completely out of ink. He's going to play super aggressive so he doesn't give him a shot or try to bait out him charging for the ink and go for a punish. Yeah. And I like John um, really not giving what Frozen wanted. And just just as I was about to say, he wasn't jumping from the ledge. He jumped right into Frozen. Yeah. Hold <laughs> on a second. I mean, he was about on the verge of getting three stocks. Can we get a turn up? Combo? Oh, big damage, no. baby! Don't jump into it. Yeah, he, <laughs> it, it was really scary. You know, John Numbers knew exactly what was gonna come if he jumped into that like final little hit. Crown would have sent him flying. Yeah. So, um, what Frozen has been doing now, like he stopped floating from oh, far proximity. Oh no! You hate to see that happen. He, he went for the side B, whiffed it completely, got roller, got grounded, got up smash, and that's gonna be John taking game one bars. Yeah, man. And um, so those rollers by John are really effective mostly because he doesn't use it from far distance. He kind of uses it in a range where it's almost semi unreactable. So uh, you kind of have to call it out that he's gonna go for the roller. Mm. Um, either jump at it because like if you get hit, hit aerially, you're not gonna get buried, or just shield it. No. <sighs> Do you think that side B was misspaced, or that he was expecting John to jump? He was definitely calling out a jump. Uh, John was getting like a bunch of approaching rolls. Um, but we're gonna go into game two. FD and John, I mean, and Frozen is sticking with the Peach, and he automatically got a stitch. That's beautiful. Yeah, he's happy about it. Look at John not wanting to approach. He realizes that the stitch is within. Uh... Oh no! And he, and he messed oh, it up. Oh, that's so <laughs> sad. He knew <laughs> he was he looking messed, for it. And he messed up the fourth cancel. Okay. Um, so right now, since Frozen had ink on him, he racked up a quick 66%. Yeah, that defense down debuff is uh, really strong. Okay, Roller gonna waste up uh, all his ink, but that's good. You know, John went for a quick burst option just to get Frozen off of him so he could charge a little bit of ink. He always wants to make sure he has enough for like above yeah. that line so he gives him access to the splat grenade. Yeah, man, and um, he's really catching Frozen in these uh, mid-range situations with these Roller. And um, like Frozen's th constantly throwing out offensive options, and then, you know, that's what happens. You lost a stop for it. Where are you going, John? Okay. Just, you know, trying to play around a bit. You can see the other side of the stage mixing up where Free wants to go against Frozen. And this is a, okay, call that a double jump. Okay. Right, I mean, the thing is, Inkling's recovery, really good. Yeah, and um, didn't get him before he got the snap animation, so. Mm. Okay. 
You know, I just want to see um, a little bit more patience coming out from Frozen. Because it just seems like every time he approaches from afar and tries to jump at him with, like, say, like a forward aerial in air, he gets punished for it. So, you know, John can prep for whatever Frozen's about to do. Yeah, it seems a little bit uncharacteristic of him, too. Usually Frozen pretty plays, like, pretty on point. But maybe it's just because... He's using a new character. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I mean, you know, I don't quote me. I'm not sure when the last time. Oh wow, okay. Peach in bracket, but yeah, got that force match. It's been much. a while. There we go, forward air. I like he's trying to follow up with the down air, you know, forcing out the neutral air dodge from John. Yeah, and you know, Frozen's being a little bit too aggressive at ledge. Uh, just seems like John knows that when he comes off ledge, you can throw out a button, and Frozen won't be blocking. <laughs> I, it's like Frozen has been playing from like a deficit this entire time, so he's trying to like make up for it, overcompensate a bit. Yeah, yeah, because that ink has been piling up on Frozen the yeah. whole set. Um, but let's see if um, Frozen gets something started. Because right now he has Inkling in the corner, and Pete's at max rage. Mm -hmm. So anything can happen with this character. There yeah. we go. All takes is one forward air. You see him trying to float there on the ledge and try to catch him with the multi hit. Ooh. He gets overzealous a bit with that forward air. Gets called out by John in the disadvantageous state, and that's yeah. going to be another stock going to John. Yeah, and I was just about to say, you know, I like the patience coming from Frozen, just putting him back off the ledge and not um, reaching for it. And then one time he did reach, he got back aired um, in retaliation. Okay, here we go. Going to be able to go for the simple shield grab upon dash attack. Yeah. Extremely hungry for this forward air. Oh yeah, and Space knows back air's on shield, which is safe. Yes. For the backup game, with the <laughs> this is pretty far. Like, ooh. You know, I, I want to see Frozen maybe go a little bit lower and um, float and wait for that in air, but I think he's afraid he might trade or yeah. something. Or afraid of like giving up stage control. Oh yes. no, dash attack again. He would get a kill off of it, so I respect the decision, but you know, playing it a little bit more safe with these forward airs, trying to fade away from the shield, make it a little bit safer. He gets caught by yet another up smash. John Numbers, I don't know how many times he caught that scoop. Yeah, man, um, it just seemed like he was just reading all his aerial approaches, to be honest, like, uh, kind of tele, you know, Frozen kind of telegraphed a, a mm -hmm. bunch of those um, aerial approaches, like forward air, 